my name is Coach Burroughs, uh, Dillard Boys basketball coach. On my far left, we have Seth Coddington. Uh, next to him is Bryce Oliver. Uh, to my immediate left is, is Jordan Wright. To my immediate right is, is <laughs> Janai Gassum. Uh, next to him is Raekwon Gray, and at the end, uh, Robert Johnson. And I, and I have six guys here because literally, uh, this is a team that we've changed the lineup. I'll say this: we've probably changed the lineup, you know, with this team almost 20 times this year. So, not to say that that's a great thing for us, but I think it may it may be a luxury for us that because you know kids may get hurt or something else may come along, we've had guys that were able to step in and you know and kind of kind of fill that role up and, and hope that there weren't there weren't you know much you know many drop offs you know and changing those lines you know so they they've accepted those things from from me as well that when I go and I'll I'll change the lineup for for some odd reason. You know that that they've kind of stayed with me. You know, we we're talking about 15 to 18 year olds that you know kind of got their own minds a little bit. Uh, but what I tell them, I'm the I'm the one the biggest you know the biggest mind. So you know, so they they kind of accepted you know you know what I what I've been able to you know, work with them this year. Questions, guys. So this current lineup that you had they <coughs> today. Yeah, has maybe kind of used that sort of like as you mean in terms of like changing the starting like tweaking the well, starting yeah, five and, a little and bit. It's, and, and it's been a lineup probably we've had to think maybe maybe five games. Okay. You know, five games before that there may have been may have been three or four different people in this you know, in this lineup. Again a year we had we had a different lineup because several of these guys were playing were playing football. You know, for you know, any and odd reasons, you know, we've we 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 have been fortunate enough to have to have guys and again, uh, with the exception of, of Coddington down the end, all these guys, you know, we've we've got thirteen players and probably eleven of them were here were here last year. So, you know, they're they're familiar with what it takes, you know, in order to, you know, when they get here and how they have to play. Now are we necessarily playing that way? You know, as a coach I, I would probably say no. You know, but I'm always looking, you know, for something a little bit, you know, a little bit more from them. Well, second <laughs> uh, towards fourth quarter, second half, you know, you finally were able to, you know, pull away. And obviously, you know, you get, I think, near 60 points in the paint tonight. And, and you know, if you just talk about just that dominance inside, obviously it's, not, it's nothing new for you guys have yeah. done that before, but you were able to wear them down. Yeah, and, and their big games will be shot the ball really well, but what this team has been fortunate enough to do is that, with, again, and that may go with what we have, we've been fortunate enough to have guys that, that can play multiple positions. You know, Raekwon Gray can play, you know, he'll probably play all five positions at, at, at some point, you know, at the point, the two guard, three, four, and the five. Same thing with Jordan Wright. You know, so we have guys, and we kind of teach them that way, is that you don't have, with the exception of probably Janai, we have guys that probably play, play multiple positions. So if, if it so happens to that we have an advantage somewhere else, then we'll kind of, kind of, kind of put, that, put that kid in, in, that, in that position. Coach, you guys. You know, they seem to have an answer for everything, but then after they cut it to 50 to 49, you finish the game on a 29 4 run. Like, what happened there at the end? Well, after halftime, when they brought it down, brought it down to one, we came in, we, we kind of talked about those things that we didn't do so well. We knew that we needed to come out second half, you know, and play some defense, that this was a, a legitimate team that deserved, you know, that deserved to be, you know, deserved to be in Lakeland. You know, when you get to this point, then you've done. You've done those things necessary in order in order to get here, you know. So we don't, you know, as as young adults sometimes we tend to kind of overlook, you know, overlook things sometimes. But and you can't, you know, you got to get here and play as if as if, that, if, if that team is the world's best team that that you that you're playing against. You know, they did some great things. You know, first half we shot the ball. Number two, uh, shot the ball extremely well. You know, form form first half. So hopefully our man to man, you know, kind of up the tempo a little bit. We got a couple steals in there that we were able to kind of kind of you know stretch the lead a little bit. At any point in the time during the game, this is for the players. Did you guys feel like you was going to lose this game at all? Uh, no, not really. Um, we've been in games before that we've been down, but um, most teams we don't have as much depth depth like we do. So eventually we're going to wear them out eventually. Without, um, 
strength of the game. Not the strength of the game. But what I do tell them is that I've, I've been through through the through the whole spectrum. I, I've been to the final four and lost in, lost in the first game. I've been you know semifinal game. So I've I've seen that where teams, if you aren't playing you know your your best, and even if you may be the favorite team, that you can you can lose the ball game. So I, I've I've seen all those seen all those things those things happen. So I don't take it for granted that okay, man, we you know you're gonna you're gonna win this game. Just just sit back, sit back and relax. You know we we've got to come out and play. What do you guys have to say? How impressive is it that, that fine line though with not being overconfident with knowing we're okay, we're yeah. gonna be fine, and like you said, not taking for granted like we have to step up and play our Well, uh, again, for me, I'm, I'm never overconfident because yo, know, I, what I tell them, you know, at the beginning of the year that at some point this is gonna end. You know, even this team, you know, we have a team of, of, of five five seniors. You know that this will this will be it, and and what you make of it is 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 what you make of. So if you don't come out and, and don't come ready to play every day, then you know you could be home with, with the 60 other teams that that were you know that were vying to get you. And again, this team has has traveled a, a lot this year. I mean, we've been you know all up and down the East Coast this year playing teams. And we've seen teams that were you know, that much better than us. So it's like. You know, we need to, we need to be able to come out and play. You know, we don't we don't take anybody for granted. You know, regardless of who it is, even if we're out in our own district, you know, northeast. You know, I can't I can't take them for granted. You know, so we, we just try to come out and play every time. For you guys, what do you want your guys to do differently in the state championship than tonight? What what do I do? I what do you guys? What do you think you guys need to do differently on Saturday? Well, we need we need to play better. Our, obviously, our defense is it has to be you know has to be uh, better than it was was as easy. We got to be able to control the glass a little. All all things that are that are doable for for us. You know, you can't. I don't expect this team to be you know Mount Verde or, or IMG. I can only expect them to them to do those things that that I know that we can do a lot lot better. Which is I know we can rebound a lot. I know we can play a little bit, a little bit better defense. And in order to win a state championship, you're going to have to do, you know, some of those things and some of those areas really, really well. You know, you just can't assume that that you're going to, you know, come in, come in the state tournament and, and you know, win. Coach, um, I know you just won a semifinal game, and I, you probably haven't thought about it yet, but you're going for number seven. Um, you know, Melvin has seven, Lawton has six. You know, being in South Florida, you three are pretty much the legacy of, of high school basketball. What does that mean to you going forward? And, 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 and again, I really don't think about it. I don't wear any of my rings. You know, at, at some point, you know, when it's all said and done for me, I, I'll go back and reflect. But right now, I don't want to live, you know, on that part of it. Again, I, I think it's important for me, for me personally, is to, is to not live on that and give these guys every time we go out and practice. And I tell them every time we practice, we we coming out as, as as something new. So we don't go back. I don't worry about well, well, what if I don't win number number seven? You know, what, all I try to do is that we come out every time. Let's let's come out and play. Let's let's do the very best we can, and, and you know, we'll we'll let the chips fall where they fall where they may. Bring one eight or fourteen today. Oh, again, you hit the first block of the game. Can you talk about how you felt? Uh, I felt good coming um, in warm-ups. I made a few shots. I felt good warming up. So my team just found me, and I um, appreciate the guards coming my way. So I just ran through the offense. What was going through your head? It was 50-49 for your lane. Kind of what was your mindset at that point? Uh, just stay calm and don't like weather storm. I knew they would make their runs, and I think we're, we're a pretty good team. I got faith in my teammates, so I wasn't really worried about the score and how we would come out. I knew we would like, finish the game pretty good. Any more questions, guys? So we got the needs. Coach, you can uh, stick around with the spectrum.